Hi guys, it's Sam and I am filming on my new phone. I got the Samsung Galaxy S8 and I am in love with it. I love that time when you get your new phone and you're learning all about it. So I just am so excited that I get to film and the quality is amazing a little too amazing you could see all of my imperfections but that's okay i'm really excited to do this video it's gonna be a haul video i want to show you the stuff that i got from sephora but also i picked up a few things from bed bath i always want to call it bath and body Works, so it takes my brain a second to remember which place i went to uh, i got a few things from there so i thought i would just share it all in one video and if i'm looking somewhere else looking at something else or if I'm pointing at something, it's I'm still learning this phone, so bear with me. And I am filming. It will be even better quality if I was using the outward-facing camera, but I'm not. So, um, I because I can't figure out where I am on the screen. I might try that in the future. And the thing with the way that it's facing the cam, the phone is facing me now, and so I'm about two feet away but when I turn on the camera to record I am like this on on the screen I'm like this close to you guys so I don't know what's up with that um but I'll just um I'm gonna work it out and let's get started uh oh before we I show you the things I wanted to update you on my laser hair removal so I have been doing that last year I started April and I think I went all the way up until I want to say like September or October or October but I was like hey I'm not you know I'm done with bathing suit season and I'm not gonna wear tank tops anymore so I'll stop and I stopped all the way until April I just started up again I would recommend you take a break from November to January and then start up again in February because now I'm in a rush to uh, get my hair lasered off for the June vacation that I'm taking and um, I would say you would I would say it's better to get a two months. They recommend four to six weeks, but I would say two months is good. Um, and you have to remember it's not permanent. So I had hair growth under my arms and my bikini area, uh, but it was the bikini area. I had the best results. Like you could barely see any hair there. The underarms, there was a growth there. Um, it wasn't as much as before and not as long as before. The hair that's coming out was so thin. I still didn't need to shave. Um, so I've been really, really happy with, with the results and I would do it again. And I thought that I would even do my lip and chin. I would do my legs, but that would just take too long. And I don't know if I would have the patience for it. And it is much more expensive, obviously, because it's a large amount of surface area. Uh, but I've been noticing that like right here and right here are two areas that like the hair is coming out coarse when it does grow out. Um, so I was like, you know what, well, I see that. And they were having a big sale. So I... I just had my first session we'll see how it goes but if it's anything like my other areas then i'm gonna be really happy with it and um i won't need to worry about this as much so yeah i and oh another reason that i wouldn't take as long of a break as i did is because you shouldn't be tanning getting sun while you get this treatment so um, I usually do use some type of SPF on my face and my body, although not as regularly. So I'm going to have to do that if I keep up my sessions. Okay, so now on to the haul. I'm going to start with Bed Bath. And the first thing is kind of like a taboo subject. This is the Poopery uh, spray and it's in tropical hibiscus. They do have a bigger size than this and then they have an even bigger size that you can refill. And this is a spray that you put into your toilet bowl and then... It wraps around whatever business you did and then it's it takes away it develops that that stuff and then um, it doesn't smell and it does work really well I wouldn't say it takes away a hundred percent but it takes away a high percentage and I am really impressed with this so um, I would recommend this I'm gonna take this with me most likely when I go to Florida because I'm gonna be sharing a place with a bunch of other people and that's kind of like you know an embarrassing thing and you don't want to like Oh, who just, like, somebody will go in. Who just went into the bathroom? It smells terrible. So I thought I might bring this with me. And it does work. Um, I feel like it works much, much better than spraying an aerosol can. And all you do is smell that plus whatever you did. So um, Bed Bath has started to carry that. I haven't, I don't remember seeing that before. Um, but they have a bunch of uh, scents that you could pick from. Next is the Nivea Essentially Enriched Almond Oil 
uh, body lotion and I really like the brand Nivea and uh, Lubriderm and Dove. Those are the three that I kind of cycle around and I would recommend any of those. I just, I've been using Lubriderm for a while so I want to switch to this. And then next is, oh, I want to end with some other products. So uh, this is the Turby Twist and it comes in a package like this. I'm sure all of you know about the Turby Twist. This is the Prince one and it has the two so i gave the white one away um but this is the print don't you just love it it's a chevron um teal and white and these this one is different than the other ones that are smoother this is more towel like and i think oh ava's coming in come here ava come here oh she's pushing the door through okay go up there so people can see you up 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 go to bed there she is that's so funny hold on one second Okay, so this, um, back to the towel or the Turby Twist, this absorbs water so much better. And I know I have short hair, but when I used to have longer hair, this would work so much quicker than the other ones that I found myself using just that same kind of absorbent towel over and over again, the print one. And so I was like, let me get another one. And the one that I have, they, they must come out with different uh, prints throughout the year. So I'll be on the lookout for that. I definitely am going to be now. Um, I, have, I hadn't got to Bed Bath in a really long time. So I have the giraffe. It's a brown and cam brown and uh, like a cream colored. But this is super cute and it works so well. I want you guys to try it. Okay, next and the last thing for Bed Bath is a Dove Advanced Care Nourish Beauty. Look. Oh, it zooms in yay so what i think was they replaced the clear tone line with this one they repackaged it and just put another name on it this does have a scent to it it's floral and feminine um it is pretty so strong and i am very sensitive to scents but i've heard people i know many people who are sensitive to scents and we all are but we're all different so what I might like you might not like like I think this is a really pretty scent um, I normally don't like very fragrant things but I do like things that smell pretty and um, aren't like obnoxiously in your face so I feel like this is one of them but it does have a scent and I would recommend that you go and there's so many other scents so I'm sure you'll find something this is an amazing product it really keeps me from sweating and I sweat a lot especially under my arms and I just am so thankful to have this product that keeps me from sweating and I was shocked that I this is the reason that I went to bed bath because I didn't have a deodorant and I couldn't believe that I had didn't have backups and first I'm the type that if I use a product over and over and over and over again I will have backups of it like the the clear tone one, the original one that I had of this, I had gotten from Amazon. Once I found out that they were being discontinued, I had gotten backups off of Amazon. And I was so shocked that I didn't have any more. So this is pretty much the same product. And I'm so glad that it still works. Because you just don't know when they change a product and they put out in new packaging if it's going to work the same. And I have to say it does. And now on to Sephora. And the thing I went in there for was the urban decay primer potion and i got the one in eden check it out look it zooms in i know i'm gonna be i'm gonna make you guys sick of hearing me say that uh so i decided to go with eden just because i wanted my eye area has gotten pretty dark so i wanted something that will cover it up and i thought i would try this urban decay primer potion is the only primer eye primer that I found really helps to combat my oily lids and they have gotten even oilier oilier um so I'm hoping that this has the same results next is the original beauty blender summer fling as soon as I saw this I knew I was gonna get it it's 49 it came out to 49 dollars uh before the sale and it's was worth every penny so that would mean I saved I think they're $20 each so I saved about $11 and it was even cheaper because I had the 10% I just I am just a beauty insider now because I didn't spend enough money last year to qualify for being VIB which I don't really mind that much 10% is pretty good still for Sephora and 
Um, I wasn't going to spend all this money to become a VIB again. And they're sneaky, Sephora, because they sent me a sale on Sunday, which was the last day of the sale. They're like, we'll give you double the points if you buy more stuff. And I was like, you know what? I got the stuff. I don't want to force myself to buy more to get more points. So I got this. I'm really excited about it. And the colors are so much fun. Uh, the Beauty Blender is a product that I really hesitated in getting and I was talking to the girl who was helping me at Sephora I was like you know I thought it was kind of gimmicky and I wasn't gonna try it but I and I had the beauty blender for the longest time and I never used it and then I one day I decided to use it and it's a product that I can't live without it's probably one of my holy grail products and if you haven't tried it go for it because it really is great okay next and the last product is the Bosha charcoal makeup melter and I was originally looking for the it cosmetics makeup remover balm and they didn't have it so I asked the girl the woman uh, what she recommended and she said she uses this and she loves it so I decided to try it and I will still get the it cosmetics but I just thought I would try this for now um it looks like that and I do like the charcoal line from Bosha uh I have been using makeup bombs for makeup remover bombs before they were cool, but I am really liking them. Like, I have used the Abilene makeup remover for a very long time, but I only use it on my eyes, so I I don't really like using it on my face, so hopefully this isn't the same. Uh, I'm probably thinking that it is, but who knows? We'll see. It does come with a little scoop, and I'm pretty excited. I've been liking the cleansing oils and uh this type of bomb kind of stuff so i hope it works out and let me know what you guys got from the sale if you got anything what i should add to my list for november and that is all my folks i that is all my folks i don't know that sounded so weird i hope you guys are all doing well and i will talk to you soon bye